Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to learn how to apply multiple material to an object in 3D Studio Max. Now, uh, let's let's go ahead. So, uh, as you can see in my scene, I have two cubes, and in these two cubes, uh, let's apply one material. So, I'll just open the material editor, and in the material editor, let's take. Uh, Let's take this checker material and apply it to one of these cubes. So when we apply any material to an object in 3D Studio Max, it is applied to the overall object like this. Overall. Now what we want is instead of one material, in the next cube I want three different materials. Now for that what we have to do is, first of all, I'll convert this object into a poly object like this and afterwards we have to set the material IDs. Okay, so uh, let me first of all open the material editor and over here I'll have to take a different material that is multi sub object material. So for that you have to click on this standard button. Once you click on standard, you have this category that is general category. Click on the general and you will get something that is multi sub object. So just select the multi sub object and you have uh, these options that is discard old material. You can use, you can go for this option and let's apply uh, let's before applying we have to as you can see this um, multi sub object material can hold a lot of uh, materials together but our requirement is only three materials so we have to set the number to three currently it is showing 10 because that is the default value but our requirement is only three materials so I'll take only three so now we have these three and the IDs are written over here. The first material uh, will have material ID 1, 2, 3, three different IDs. So I'll just close this uh, material editor for the time being. Now in this object, I'll have to select the polygons over which now let's say for example in this cube I want to apply uh, on the top and bottom I want one material. Let's select the top and bottom and over here in this uh, edit poly parameters rollout we have something that is polygon material ID. So there is option set ID. So I'll just set the ID to 1 and enter. Then I'll select the other polygons that is top and bottom we have already selected. Now let's take the the front and the back so these are the front and back polygons I have selected and in this I want to set the material ID to 3 and enter now the left polygon and the right polygon I'll set the material ID to 2 Okay, now in this cube, we have added three different material IDs that is one, two, and three. So, top and bottom is having one material, whereas the front and back will have different, and uh, the left and the right side will have a different material. So, now we have to add the materials in the material editor. So, let's open the material editor, and this is what we have created that is multi sub object. Let's apply this to the cube. And right now it is turned black because we have not added anything over here now. So we can give it a name. So we have we are going to apply three different materials to this. So we can name each and every material. Now say for example the first one I want to name checker. You can give any name uh, of your choice. Then second one I say marble. And third one let's take dent material so I have taken three different materials here 
and in the checker let's uh, select the option that is right now it is none click on none and then you have to take the material so right now I've taken a standard material checker so this is the checker material and there is an option uh, show shaded material in viewport just put it on so that we can see the material now the top and bottom uh, polygons of this cube will have this checker material because the ID of the top and bottom is one so accordingly it is being applied so I'll go back to uh, the parent now you have the second material let's click on none and uh, uh, we have to select this marble and uh, again click on this show shaded material in viewport now you can see the two sides the marble is applied and then we'll move on to the third one and let's apply a dent material as we have named it dent so I'll select dent and now similarly show in viewport option you need to put on now as you can see uh, this object is now having three different materials depending on the ID now whenever make, I make any kind of modification in any of these materials it is updated automatically so I'll just go back here and say for example if I uh, this checker material if I uh, make any kind of modification say let's increase the number of tiling and automatically you'll notice that the things are getting updated in the viewport over the object similarly you can uh, change or update the other materials as well and accordingly it will be updated over the object so this is how we apply uh, different uh, materials on a single object in 3d studio max so thanks for watching